I'm sure that it's not uncommon for sea anglers to travel miles and drive for hours in search of fish. For anyone out there who's broke to the fuel pump, you're not alone. The fact is, is that over 40% of towns in Scotland are on the coast, and that number is even higher when looking at the east coast. Whether driving these distances are necessary is a question which would save a lot of anglers a lot of money, so that it can be spent elsewhere. In this video, I will try and answer the question for you, and I will do it by trying to catch fish from the most urbanised coastline on the east of Scotland, the capital of Scotland. So hello everyone, welcome back. As you can see, this is a completely different setting to what we're used to. This is a harbour, this is Western Harbour in Edinburgh. And a very, very different style of fishing to what I'm used to. I'm used to walking miles to catch fish, driving for hours, fishing some of the most remote places on the East Coast. I hate this bit. This is probably as close to the opposite as you could get. This is a three mile driveway from my house. So you would have thought that this should be one of the most convenient places to fish, if not the most convenient. However, the three mile drive has taken me 55 minutes. It was an absolute nightmare of a drive, hitting every single red light along the way. I was trying to get clever about a couple of roadworks as well, going down some back streets, trying to find quicker routes around them, get to a dead end street, end up right at the back of the queue of the traffic. The same lights were just starting off at about two traffic light cycles later. The SD cars, are you taking the pit? An absolute nightmare, I can't lie. It's been a very flipping annoying start to my day. I could have been down at St. Abs in that amount of time. Three miles. But anyway, we're down here and it's a nice day to be down here, isn't it, really? The sun's out, the wind isn't too bad. I have, I have tucked you up a little bit there, so you're not getting the brunt of the wind coming through, but it's okay, it's looking very much fishable. Now, the main question for me today is, do we have a chance of catching fish in Edinburgh? Now, I'm not just gonna be tunnel visioning on catching cod, because I think we may struggle. We've definitely got a chance of a cod, but I don't think it's gonna be full of cod, especially at this time of year. We're now at the end of January, so a lot of the cod will have moved out. I'm gonna be scratching today. I'm gonna to have a scratching rod and a pulley panel rod. So a scratching rod is gonna give us potential of smaller fish to get a idea of the variety of species in the area. I, I imagine we're gonna have a chance of catching flatfish, coalies, whiting, and then maybe if you're super lucky, you'll get like a turbot, haddock, Pollock, maybe. The one thing about fishing with smaller hooks is small hooks will catch you any size of fish. Using big hooks generally will catch you only bigger fish. Small hooks, small baits will get you anything in there, including big cod. So having one scratching rod is definitely not going to mean that we cannot pick up a nice fish on that rod. But as I said, it's mainly just to get a wider picture of the, of the variety of the fish that are gonna live here. Where I'm starting off today, I have zero clue about. I have never fished before. We're gonna be fishing three marks here today. Maybe five hours each, that's what I'm thinking. Starting off, it's about nine o'clock in the morning and then we're gonna just work our way up every five hours. Finish right up a Queen's Ferry and we're just gonna see where's gonna be the best to fish, if any. Yeah, but anyway, all right then. So let's get these rods into the water. All right then, so this is the first bait which I'm going to chuck out. This is just carp, squid, mackerel and lugworm. This is a bait which I pre-made up last session I was out and then I've just been able to clip it on. Quick bit of elastic, I'm just going to chuck this out now. After a couple of hours without a bite, I came to the conclusion that the fresh water from the estuary next to me was being pushed directly into where I was targeting. Instead of risking a blank, I decided to upgrade my bait by digging some fresh lugworms and heading back to the coast the morning after. Armed with some top tier bait, I was ready to take on Granton's East Pier. Even with this, I managed five hours without a fish and finally decided to take the advice of the city's artwork. All right then people, so it's about half past eight at night and I've come down for a sneaky little, probably three hour fish. Now, I promise you one thing, I am gonna catch you a fish in this video. <laughs> what and when, I do not know, but I'll promise you that. I will come out for as long as it takes <laughs> to get you a fish. Hopefully though, tonight is gonna be the night. The wind has dropped right off we're looking at round about three to five mile an hour winds tonight. 
and the sea has dropped right off which isn't the best for the fish but very convenient for the angler which is the main reason I'm actually out tonight. We're going to mainly be targeting smaller species. I'm going to start off with a pulley rig, maybe get rid of it after a little bit. I'm not very very confident in the fact that we'll get a cod tonight but I will stick it out there for a little bit just to see if they are about because why not. But Right I'm just going to head down here onto the breakwater, get set up, get a rod in the water. So here we go, rigs for this evening are ah, two hook flapper. I have actually gone for a rotten bottom on there. Top hook, we have gone a size two ohm. Bottom hook, size two. And oh, we've got a bite. That's a decent bite. Oh, yep. Not feeling much, but you saw the knock. There was definitely something there. It's gonna be a fish. No, no fish. Oh well. Good bite though. Right, we'll get it back. Brilliant sign. Yes. Anyway, back to the rigs. That right there is a squid and car. And essentially all I've done is I've basically just scaled down my usual cod baits. Pretty much. So that's that one, and then we're gonna go a full lug. There we go. Lug and squid. Well, mainly just lug, isn't it? But bit of squid there as well. Right, so that's a full rig. So as you can see, we've got a nice lug on the bottom, nice squidding cart at the top. Right, I'm gonna try and get some distance on this cast. Yeah, good. And now that looks, that's gotta be a fish and it's gotta be hooked, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Might be hooked. Might be hooked actually. Don't think it is. Just instant and continuous bites. It's it's debatable. I mean, I've had a bite. I've probably had 30 bites and I've connected with zero fish. So it does really, really make me think that we're just getting crabbed to like unbelievable levels. Right, look, is that going to be a crab? It just is probably going to be one, isn't it? Let's have a look. Look. Does not feel like a fish. All right, guys. Hunting a knock there, but we have got a lot. A, like, a real lot of weight on here. Now, this could be weed. This could be like a rope. A big crab, maybe. But, like, with this amount of weight... If we're going to start getting some fight in here, this is going to be a cod. Couldn't be anything else, or a pollock or something. God, we might be fighting. This is super heavy. What on earth is this going to be? Look at the size of that shore crab. Look at the claws on that. Now the question is, is that crab big enough for bait? Genuinely. I think that is going to go as bait, unfortunately, for that thing. <laughs> because that's going to be full of cart. These claws... Whoa, scare myself there. These claws are going to be full of crab meat. Yeah, sorry, geezer. You're about to go out on the rod that you've just eaten up. Undoubtedly. Beautiful. Fresh. A bit of a cart wing. <laughs> Lovely. Doesn't get any fresh in the night, does it? So that is going to go on with a big bit of squid. <laughs> Come on. Okay then everyone, so this is now day three of my mission to catch fish in the city of Edinburgh. So far, as you all know, it has gone pretty badly. We have definitely struggled. Last night we were getting just unbelievably stripped by crabs. Uh, my baits were staying out for no more than literally two minutes at a time. Today, I'm going to try and avoid the crabs. I am going to go middle of the day, so hopefully the crabs will be sleeping during this time of the day. And also clean the ground. Um, I just feel like crabs are going to be less dense over sandy areas than they will like a few rocks and stuff. So today we're going to go to Granton West. It's a deeper ground to any of the other ones that I've fished yet it's about four meters deep which isn't super deep i know but the others were like two to three so 
I think this is going to be the best chance we've had yet. I'm going to be basically going competition style. We're going to be going two rods, have two spare rigs baited up, literally just clip them on, clip them off as soon as you get one in, because I just want to keep these rods in the water for the maximum amount of time as possible. Now today, I'm going to give it a good, good bit of a fish. It's 12 o'clock now, we're going to give it till at least sunset, quite likely a couple of hours into dark to try get on some of them nighttime species. You've got a chance of cod, you've got a better chance of cod anyway in the dark. Whiting, haddock, that sort of stuff when the sun goes down. So let's get down there and get a rod in. Well, that there isn't the best sight to see. We're gonna go and try to either get round it or we might just have to climb over. At least it means there'll be nobody else fishing it. <laughs> so I've just parked right at the end of this dead end street. I mean, Pretty legit to me. That's good. Right, we're gonna just head straight to the pier. Stay right out of this construction site. I'm just gonna walk along the pier wall. Just to make it obvious that I'm not like in here to cause havoc or out. So I'm making my way through what seems to be just a complete derelict kind of wasteland. I mean, there's roads here and everything. Clearly people haven't been in this area for a long time. I mean, we've got like plants growing out the roads and stuff. So I'm just hoping that we're going to be able to get through this and access the pier, but just have to see. Quite cool though. Quite surprising to find in such a built up area. Well, to be honest, guys, I don't think that it could have got much better than this. Have a look at this. What a place. So we've got the harbour on this side, which is definitely going to get a line into it. And then over this side, that's where I was yesterday. You can see we are further out than the end of that pier. We've just got the straight fourth channel. And I mean, look at this mark. I did not expect to find anywhere even nearly as good as this in Edinburgh. Looks like we've got literally nobody coming down here to come and annoy you, <laughs> just walking along the piers and stuff. We've got this place to ourselves. Um, we've got a nice windbreak on this side. This platform here is like ideal for casting. We've got like essentially 360 degrees worth of casting out here. Oh, it does not get much better than this. I am amazed to have found somewhere this good. Let's see if there's any fish about down here. the fish flipping hell this has been a bit of a grind here but i mean look at that flatty as well we have avoided the whiting somehow well my gopro is just totally destroyed it's totally just died on me um there we go guys look at that now it's a beautiful fish whatever it is i'm pretty certain this is going to be a flounder hope you can see all right it's got some sort of a little bit of a growth on him that's like something external, I don't know. Um, but I think that's a flounder. So I would have said dab or flounder. I think dab have like rough bits here. You'll have to let me know in the comments, guys. Look at that little beauty. Oh, come on. First cast as well. So obviously this is only just a little one, but with the species that it is, I'm over the flipping moon. As I said, I was only really expecting to catch whiting, if anything, on this trip, but Getting on some little flatties is just absolutely ideal. I couldn't ask for anything more. That is beautiful, right? We'll get this one back. Hopefully we can get the GoPro to work for a bit. Go on, buddy.
fine. I've just been flying my drone, so I haven't been able to get to it, but. Let's have a look. Don't feel much weight. Look like a fairly promising bite, however. Come on. We're up on the surface. This could be a fish. This could be a minute flatty. Hey, I think it is. It is. I'll tell you what, for a flatty that size, it was giving a good bite. There we flipping go. <laughs> there we go, guys. Taking a look, finally. Another one of the same. Guessing flounder. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. Right, let's get this one back as well. All right then, guys. Well, the sun has just set. It is now getting dark. And I can tell it's getting dark because the crabs have started to come rife. I am getting crabbed heavily. Every couple of minutes, my rod's just going tick, tick, tick. Crabs are just all over it. Now, the plan for this evening was to go to Queen's Ferry, but I think with the crabs, I, honestly, I'm just not in the mood for it tonight. Overall, it's been pretty damn good. I mean, we didn't get a ton of fish, but we always knew it was going to be a bit of a struggle. I am super happy to approve that there are actually fish that I can catch within what should be 10 minutes of my house. So it's been a very great successful experimental session really i hope you guys have enjoyed it one other thing that i do want to say is we are very close to hitting 1000 subscribers on the channel so there should be something special coming for that i'm planning on doing something a little bit a little bit different a little bit out of the box for that um and i think that we should probably hit it by the time that this video is out so the next video should hopefully be something a little different so anyway I've got that to look forward to filming, but thank, thanks very much. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you again then. See you later.